Holy crap, it's been a while, hasn't it? <coughs> Voice is getting clear, I swear. Go, just type in some stuff. Uh, da 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 da. Connection <laughs> seems to be good so far. We'll drop to right. Once what we're supposed to be doing? <laughs> okay, uh... Hey! Get a whiff of that sweet sulfur air. Right. Okay. Along. Yeah, now the door is I'm looking for, right? Get a whiff of that sweet sulfur air. Hmm? Do you surf in the drinks? You meditate today? If not, you should. Okay. This armor itches something off. Hope Zora sends me up next. Oh shit! Ah! Oh god! Uh, I broke a leg again. I like. Uh. Hey. Ugh. Move along. Carry on. It ain't right. How many good folk are we gonna lose to our missions? That's just the way of it. We gotta earn our keep out. Get that? Ooh, Apagami. I'll uh, be taking that. Who could meet on any of them? Can't sleep in here. Is there anything I need to do? Anything else I need to do here? Oh no! Not a In this company of descendant a uh, hunter, the hero braves the dangers of hell of that as monarch. Numerous ads are scratched into the text, and a number of, feel of the villainous descents, descents that had mustache and hats drawn into them. How much are Okay, I'm saying now, saying now, don't want to get into trouble or derail the storyline. Nice thing about traveling with the captain. We meet all sorts of new people. Sure, best part is when they pay us. We never really had new folks in Edgewater, except the captain. Kind of hard to make new friends when everyone's already decided they don't like you. Could be a favor in disguise. A lot of people out here ain't that nice. As you were. May the eternal truth guide you. Okay. Let's just get out of here. Skedaddle, skedaddle, skedaddle.
If anybody's having trouble watching the uh the uh, uh stream, let me know. Dr. Ellie, you ever wonder if maybe we got some things in common? This isn't another thing about wrenches and guns, is it? Because you're a surgeon and I'm a mechanic. We both fix things, heal them up. Hate to break it to you, but before I got to Groundbreaker, I fixed more noses than bones. Nowadays, I probably shoot more than I save. Oh. Thank you, again, for retrieving the bolt. It's every bit as complex as I'd heard, but I'm up to the challenge. Anyway, what can I do for you? I found a data cartridge with details of UDL secret experiments. Excellent timing on your part. I worked my fingers to nubs, but I finally completed the Bolt 52 form. I dare say it will be my second greatest achievement after the reformations. You're getting ahead of yourself again. So I am. Do you have this cartridge? <laughs> oh, did I say have a... Reformations? What, are you going to reformat everyone's files? That's just cruel. And inefficient. I'm working on a plan to reorganize the board. Slowly, peacefully, and with meticulous documentation. Okay. What's gonna happen to the people here when the board figures out what you're doing? Well... By that point, my hope is that we'll be on the board once more. I'm just... Maybe I'm worrying too much, but... It seems the folks here get plans made for them an awful lot. When do they get to start making plans for themselves? Yes, if one, you know. Once MSI is restored, the people of Monarch will be able to make more choices. We'll have all the brands and resources of the board here. But truly, I am getting ahead of myself. First, I need to submit the Bolt 52. Here you go. I knew there was something going on. This is exactly the proof we need. The board will have to welcome us back now. I'll transmit this data along with the completed Bolt 52 right away. After that, we'll sit back and quietly wait for the board to respond. That means no more broadcasts from us. I have to go. Okay. Okay, there. I just hope it doesn't bite me in the ass. Uh. Yeah, I just hope it doesn't bite me in the ass. Like. Don't mind me, just... <laughs> Okay. Awkward. Oh, Captain, you did it! My little boy is back safe and sound! Tell the Captain how grateful we are, Tuck Tuck. Mama, I told you that I'm not staying. I just came back to talk to you about why I left. Then I'm going back to Amber Heights. 
Oh, we'll get that silliness sorted out. You're safe here with me, and that's how it's going to stay. Isn't that right? It's time to grow a man. It's time you to start dreaming like one. What a sour thing to say. My little boy will always need me. I'm his mama, you know. Mama, what I need is for you to listen to what I want for once. But that's between us. Now you promised the captain a reward, so settle up. Then you and me are gonna have a long talk. Here, kind stranger. This is every bit I've scrimped and scraped for years to save. But it's more than worth it to have my tuk-tuk home safe again. Uh, good luck to you both. It's nothing personal. I'm just not the touchy-feely type. It's just... You seem fine with the others. Did I do something to make you unhappy with me? You gotta stop taking things so personal. You're setting yourself up for a letdown. Hmm. Holy crap, my persuade is high! Oh, 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 oh wow! <laughs> Okay. Wow. Oh, holy fuck. Okay. Oh, that's a bit of a long ways away, so I'm just going to give her some passion for pills. Yo, uh, Nicola, I finally got your pills. You're back. Good news? Yeah, bad more good news? news than bad news. All of the above? I got your magic pills. These things are dangerous, you know. Says someone who's never had any fun. Exactly. See, I'm glad someone on your cruise got some sensi sensible, got her head on straight. Ooh, that hits the spot. Right in the, uh, oh, no, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Yes. We're in business. Let's go. That was fast. I gotta see about stalking some on the ship. You be careful. The first one's free. After that, they'll offer you gainful Glad employment. to have you. Great. Where to? Let's find the information, information broker. Oh, Hiram? I ain't checked in on that man in an age. He's running the giant radio tower we lovingly call Devil's Peak. We'll be going south and west, mostly along the road till we're past Fallbrook. Out there, there's a western slope that'll lead us through some, uh, some fun. You like hunting, right? That's fun. Uh, You're more of a spelunker. I had a little bit. Rotting River will take you into the mountain caverns. We can discuss options when we get closer. That said, uh, three's already a crowd. I don't mind waiting somewhere until you got a spot open. Ellie, wait on the ship. We need Nanagawa's cell phone. Nyoka's cell phone out. Oh god, that was too. That was that would be awkward. I hope you like being part of our crew, Nyoka. We're real excited to have you. So you keep Monarch safe, huh? That's real honorable work, Miss Nyoka. Oh no, no, Monarch ain't safe, even with me around. I've just got intimate knowledge of its dangers and an abundance of fortitude. Folks hire me because I know what you can shoot and what you ought to run from. That's a mistake you only get to make once. Hmm. Okay, what is she... Oh, she was even more useful than, um... What's his face?
Holy crap! A nice hat! Okay. Don't mind me just browsing through the stuff. Hey, got a favor to ask you. Figure while we're out here in the wilderness anyhow, we might stop in on an old friend of mine. Preferably before we get to Hiram's. It's on the way, don't worry. You don't seem the type to run off and get yourself killed. And I could use the help. Well, I definitely don't uh, get. Uh, well, I definitely don't plan to get and kill myself killed. Well, we'll see about that. I'll be upfront with you. I hate asking for help. I hate it. Every time I give someone Thanks. the opportunity to disappoint me, they seem to make it their most immediate good take, goal. But understandable. But this, what I'm thinking, it's dangerous. What kind of things are we talking about here? Nothing. I can't. We can't handle. All right. Let's hear it. I used to run with a band of hunters. Friends. Six of us. We were on Monarch when the corporations pulled out, and we helped a lot of people pick up the pieces. I haven't seen two of them in years, and the rest I know to be dead. I'd like to gather their effects and bury them all in the same places, with the family we once were. How do you know they were dead? I saw it happen. Hell, one of them was in my arms at the time. His name was Hayes, and he's our first stop. I buried him away from our encampment. Can I loot his body? I'll show you where he rests. He had a medallion in his effects. That's what I'll bring home to bury. After that? Then we find my two lost trackers and bring them home. A long time ago, we built an encampment in one of Monarch's cave systems. Trouble is, a mana queen showed up and kicked us all out. If we can find Rebecca and Anders, they'll know how to lure her out. Then we kill the bitch and bury everyone's medallions We're together. Going to have to kill a mana queen? Oh, yes. I can't wait. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What did I get myself into? What the fuck did I get myself into? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. What did I get myself into? How long does... There we go. Raps. Let's clear the sulfur sodden fucks out so Hayes can rest in peace. Leroy. There we go. Leroy Jenkins. Or a surface of Harry's grace with small lockbox. The center rested through and its wood almost completely rotted. It falls apart in your hands, but uh, uh, but it, you've managed to find a tarnished silver metallic bearing the letters. Carry on. I'm good. Hayes was the best self sacrificing son of a saint I ever met. Halcyon is worse off without him. Now, if we're gonna lure the Manta Queen out, we'll need to find Rebecca and Anders. They took a UDL contract on Terra 2, and we never heard from them again. I think it's time I call in a favor with Hiram. 
If anyone can track them down, it's him. Hold on, tell me about the UDL contract. I don't know much about it. It paid well, so they took it. They said they'd be back in a couple of weeks and that maybe we could all use the money to get off Monarch. That was a long time ago. Sounds like they abandoned you. I don't rightly know what happened. I should have tried to track them down back then. But soon after they left, Hayes and the others died. And to be honest, after him, I I stopped trying. Because it hurt like hell. <sighs> that is a concerning amount of baggage to carry around. Well, shit, I'm working on it, all right? You think I like lying awake at night? You think I like stewing on the similarity between rap screams and my friend's death throes? Nope. I'm... I'll get there. Quips from you ain't gonna help me along the way, so stow it. Now, come on. Let's make tracks before Hiram dies of old age. <laughs> oh, it's right there. Doing all right. Doing good. Doing good. Ugh. Whew. That's probably the first time in a while. And here we are. Told you we'd make it in one piece. Station ain't too far now. Well, this is the first time neither hey, one you, of my companions die. There are marauders up ahead. Huh? Oh, no. How the hell did marauders navigate the caverns? Need something? This station's under the protection of the corporate compliance crew. You a marauder? Cause me and my sunshine, that's my gun if you were wondering. We don't take what kind marauders? of Is that a trick question? Never mind. Marauders ain't smart enough to be asking those. That's good, I guess, as I wasn't looking forward to double tapping you. You're clear. But I would caution you against pressing on ahead. This station's plumb crawling with marauders, you know. What are you doing up here, hunting hunt marauders? I take it you ain't met the other C3s. Me and Sunshine are doing exactly what we've been tasked with. You want more details? You ought to talk to my crew. They're guarding a small barracks to the southeast, by the edge of the mountain. How do I find the other C3s? See that path that runs underneath that giant archway? Follow it on down. There's a little station near the cliff. You'll find the rest of what my crew there. What are you waiting there. for? Let me kill these marauders. There is nothing I'd enjoy more. But the C3s play it by the book. I'm off. Oh, she's gonna die. Ah, oh, 
damn it. <laughs> she makes the funniest looking face when she uh, does that. Oh shit. Again? Hey, get over here. I just want to be friends with you. There we go. Alright. Health and stuff are restored. And don't mind what I do. Just because. Oh, did not see these before. There we go. Oh, this is gonna take a while. What's up? Never mind. Sweet. What's up? Can I ask you something? What's with the pleasantries? You want to know something? Just ask. What made you choose the hunted life? I didn't. I was born into security detail. And when the corporations abandoned this place, I stayed. What do you mean, born to security detail? I mean, I wasn't sent off to school like I should have been. I was born here, and my parents kept me. Raised under the monarch sky. Been breathing sulfur since I knew how to smell it. This place is all I know. That cannot be healthy. Has Morak always been your home? I don't have a single spot I call home. Wherever I can sit in peace with a bottle is good enough for me. But, yes, I've always been on Monarch. Why... Uh, do you have family here? In a sense. My parents took off when the corporations did. I took to companionship with a few friends here for a time, but... Those days are long past. You do want to find your parents? No. We weren't close. And before you ask, there ain't a story there. We just never saw eye to eye on the corporations. In a sense. No. Why, why we haven't you close. left? And before you ask, there... Uh, 
It ain't exactly easy to hitch a ride off planet, Captain. And besides, I hear Terra 2's all corporate. The way folks talk about the board and their ilk. Think I... Good. I'm sure you got all my other hunting toys. Tell me one. <laughs> I took a job once to clear out a rap nest. Partnered up with a fellow out of Fallbrook who called himself Dirty Don. Bit on the shorter side. Had a penchant for cards. Thing is, he introduces himself and the man is immaculate. Clean. He had a flowery presence to him. A pleasantness that didn't invade your space. He was just there and you were glad uh, for Oh, why was he called Dirty Don then? When we set out to hunt down the Raptodons, I found out firsthand where his nickname came from. Dirty Don killed those Raptodons with his bare hands. His bare fucking hands, Captain. <laughs> okay, that's not what I had in mind. Primal fury. I, not, that's not what I expected. In the end, he stood drenched in blood over the entrails of a dozen raps. If he had a scratch on him, I wouldn't have been able to tell. I have it doing. It was glorious. Is he still out there telling the wildlife? Day came when he tried to take on a mana queen. Got himself eaten one limb at a time. Wonder if he tasted like soap. <laughs> oh well, live and learn. No matter how tough you are, if you're gonna fight something bigger than you, bring a firearm. What's up? Hmm. You ever name a place? Ever come to a spot in the world you think ought to be remembered? Ever a been has a name. Edgewater, Stella Bay, The Groundbreaker. Those don't count. Those names were paid for. I name things and places quite often. Rotting River, Golden Rock, the Horizon's Edge. Any time I come to a spot I think is worth remembering, I name Why? it. Why? Is that just so, uh, to help you find your way? It's easy to get lost in the wilderness. I don't mean physically. All you need is a clear night sky to get your bearings. I mean, it's easy to forget that you belong. Spend a few weeks camping with the raps and you start to forget what it's like to be human. When a beast growls at you, maybe you start to growl back. Those little spots, the rock here, the river there, I'd name them so that in those moments, I could remind myself yes, not where I was, but who I was. where two severed from the animals. Well, we eat, we drink, and holler and fuck. On some level, we all function the same. But they ain't got memories or attachments to places, to friends, to, to themselves. I found that every once in a while, my own attachments would start to slip. Then I'd take a drink from the rotting river, find my spirit refreshed. Anyway, enough sentimental yammering. Let's find a drink or a target. Gotta put my up in a way. Damn, but I like the way you fight, stranger. Wish we could join you, but I got orders to stay put. Nice work. You should check. Might want to make a save here, just in case. Oh, great. Let's see how my... Oh, wow, okay, that's a really powerful weapon. Oh, wow. Okay, um... Loop gun. Uh. Alright, should be pretty good. about that. Hmm. You hiding? Here we go. Oh, here we go. What? 
I'm all right. How about you? Ugh. And balls here. Here's the elevator, but ain't gonna budge while this place is on lockdown. Nice. Guess we keep moving forward. The manager. I would like to speak to the manager, please. another way up there we go Sealed. Okay. Got it. Inside voices. This is why I bring you along, Bonnie. Nice, what's safe? I can't tell if you're brave or simply touched in the head. What in the galaxy are you doing sniffing around my station? Unless you are, in fact, trying to suicide by Marauder? And you, Nioka! What are you doing Nioka, hugging a okay. stranger into my station? You could use the socialization, you son of a bitch. Also, he hired me. To what purpose? I happen to have some significant problems I am dealing with right now. Marauders, running out of purple berry wine three days ago, not being able to bloody broadcast. I need to see, to see the information broker about. No, no, no. We'll deal with information related business later. As I said, there are bigger problems threatening my life and livelihood at this very moment. The Marauders want me dead. And since my hired hands have clearly turned to idle, it appears I need you to clear out the threat. As my newest contractor, you may call me the Broker. <laughs> or we can call you Hiram, on account of that's your damn name, and doubly on the account of the Broker being a dumbass <laughs> What? Everyone calls me that, aside from you. Okay, Broker. See, Nioka? I barricaded the broadcast center, but I can only hold out for so long. Clear the Marauders out, and I'll pay you double the going rate. They destroy the transmission equipment, and I'll be out of business. The elevator and doors to the second floor are back online. Hurry before I have to lock them down again. How many Marauders have broken to this station? Too many, considering I hired a bunch of no-good mercs to keep them out in the first place. Already, they've caused considerable damage to the station's property. If they take down the broadcast equipment... What's I'll in it for me? Aside from the bits I'll be paying you, you said you wanted something for me. Something information-related. I'll see what I'll I can do. 
What's up? Never mind. Great work. Ooh. Loot. Necklace. Oh, this is like paradise in here. This looks interesting. I'm gonna t t take it. There's a lot of people in there. Inclement weather warning. Okay, regional. Okay. Okay, you might want to pause this because I'm. I want to be on, on a, a little bit of time. You might want to pause this. Four twenty. Okay. Stun cartridge. Load. Stun baton. Or nice. Okay, that looks actually looks kind of useful. Uh. Yeah. Okay, gotta say this just in case. This is to bite me in the ass.
You're not who I expected. Never thought I'd be ecstatic at having the walls painted in blood, but seeing as it's not mine, I'd say this calls for a celebration. This ought to square our debt. One hefty payment for a highly valued service rendered. But I admit, I do wonder why Nioka has brought you to me. Allow me to pose my question in another manner. Why, in the nebula, are you here? I told you I'm looking <laughs> You're not an easy man to reach, Broker. That is the primary goal behind locking myself high in a tower. Some folks don't look kindly on me being a purveyor of delicate information. Phineas must have sent you. He's the only one insane enough to send someone to Monarch to rush me. I knew it was only a matter of time before he came a-knocking. Look, I might be late, but I fulfill my contracts always. Oh, you do, do you? I have lost track of the number of beers you owe me for chasing raptodons off your stoop. <laughs> Are you fibbing? Be honest. <laughs> I take offense to that. Look, okay. Just, it might take me a while this time. Why is that? I am awaiting but a single incoming transmission containing the information we desire. But MSI and the Iconoclasts are clogging the airwaves from Stellar Bay and Amber Heights. In their war against each other, they're scrambling each other's outgoing transmissions. Luckily, however, MSI has now gone silent. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? I would. Then you've my impressed gratitude. Still, we need to get the Iconoclasts off the airwaves. I will leave the means of that particular end under your discretion. Do we... kick them off? Exactly what I was thinking. They hurt us all with their pettiness. Which, of course, has inadvertently affected the incoming port and my livelihood. I mean, what about M7 and the Iconoclasts? Graham and his Iconoclasts believe anarchy is the way of life. Sanjar opposes it, as he's taking strides to corporatize Stellar Bay. Can we... You know, why ever heights? Amber Heights is one of the only surviving settlements outside of Stellar Bay. Graham Bryant and the Iconoclast there got their hands on a working relay station. Now they're ceaselessly transmitting philosophist ramblings on my airwaves. Can we cut them off from inside the station? No, they're jamming the limited frequencies we have at our disposal. Nothing extra planetary can get in or out until the frequency pollution thins out. The safest bet is to convince Graham and his Iconoclast to stop transmitting on I'll their end. I'll talk some sense in into them. You do that, I'll be here, waiting on the receiving end. Luck be with you. I have a feeling you'll be needing a pinch of it, plus a vat of patience. You want an info broker? What's that? Is that a trick question? Because to answer it, you'd need to pay me. Of course, I could offer you a vastly more interesting bit of data instead. Try me. Ask me anything you'd like. I'll even offer it for free. We'll call it an exchange for your help with the broadcast. Fair enough. Ask me what you will. I just use... Uh, what can, uh, can you hear me talk about Felix? Not much, admittedly. What's known something about him? Phineas has been in hiding Phineas, for the okay. past 35 years. He got in touch with Nioka first, who I use as a physical go-between. The rest is history. As far as what's between us, I mean. Outside of that, well... Is that it? That's not juicy enough for you. How about this, then? There is a sharper side to the good scientist than you'd expect. If allegations are to be believed, the experiments he conducts for the greater good are in fact treasonous and for self-gain. I am not convinced as to the validity of these allegations, considering the source. Phineas has been in... As far as what... Listen. I do know this much. There is a sharp... I am not convinced... Luckily for you, I am a veritable font of information. Have you seen any broadcasts from Earth? What? No. Why would I go out of my way to intercept messages from Earth? There's no market for them. No buyer means it's not worth my time. Now, if you wanted me to intercept a certain one, that might Let's, be worth uh, it. talk about the, the board. Right there are so many members. Do specify. Got any compromised information on the chairman? If you try to cite me on this, I will deny, deny, deny. Do you understand? What I am about to reveal is the sort of information that gets a body disappeared. MSI's ownership of Monarch is technically legal, but it would give MSI too much power on the board to grant them such status. So the chairman demon demonizes Monarch rather than welcoming it back into the fold. Whoops. Exactly. But you didn't hear so much as a whisper of such from me. I want to ask you about something else. Luckily for you, I am a veritable font I'm curious of about MSI and the iron... They are a curious lot. Insufferable. And short-sighted, too. 
What else? What's the story between know? MSI and the Iconoclasts? You mean between MSI, the Iconoclasts, and myself? I bet neither of those megalomaniacs told you I was the true mastermind behind Monarch. Back when the colony was still Terra One and corporations were abandoning us left and right, I'm the one who approached Sanjar and Graham with the means to our salvation. I offered them a legal way to take control of the planet. If MSI were the only corporation here, they could claim sole ownership. So MSI will have to stay behind while the other corporations left? Precisely. The other corporations were fleeing because of the Hazard Clause declaring Terra One uninhabitable. But MSI had lagged behind, giving Sanjar and Graham an opportunity. Take over MSI, stay here while the other corps left, take over the planet. So you have the glue that brought them together. Precisely. Without me, they never would have done more than play revolution in hushed whispers over scuzzy kale ales in the tavern. Thus, the bargain was struck. They could run MSI while I would operate Devil's Peak Station. Unfortunately, relations have soured over time. Why did the partnership fall apart? Competing ideologies. Graham believes Sanjar has become corrupted by the corporate lifestyle, that he is now similar to the original corporate executives they sought to reform. And Sanjar has learned the hard way that Graham is quite morally gray. I'm curious about Graham has a uh, deep, dark secrets. Some say Graham suffers from nightmares that leave him sweat drenched and screaming. I would assume it stems from the friends and family he lost in Amber Heights all those years ago. I can use some sort of turn on Sanjar or not. Sanjar is not actually at fault for his past performance reviews. But he can keep hunting for loopholes to get back on the board for the next century. Okay, He'll that, never be that I remember. Not in his lifetime. For Nebula's sake, even with the loophole I gave him, he's only in charge of MSI because every other what exec died during... I gave Sanjar and Graham legal information that would allow MSI to own Terra One once the other corporations had abandoned the planet. The execs had their concerns, but before the matter could be resolved... Luckily for you, That's I'm not, a okay, I'm now. How low you seemingly regard my trade. I'd like to secure some information. I may have a secret for you. Okay. How low you and seemingly needs regard a favor. my trade. Oh, great. I love doing pro bono work for friends. Aw, you called this friends. I'd normally entertain your self-aggrandizing delusions, but this time it's important. Important to you is not the same as important to me. Although I do recognize that you may have earned some... Goodwill during your months. She's a friend and she's in need. You're the only one who can help. Tug on my heartstrings, why don't you? Look, I'll do what I can, all right? Rebecca Hodges and Anders Wattsworth. They took a UDL contract back when Monarch went to ship, and I need to find them. I believe them to be on Terra too. If UDL hired two hunters back then, it would have been for creature clearing purposes round one of their spacer's choice outposts. These are the coordinates for the outpost under the last UDL contract. Now scram. And, uh... I need a head out. Sure. You know where to find me if you need me. Huh. I bet you'll like Rebecca. What's up? Can I ask you something? Sure. You're around with the corporation's left monarch, right? Yeah. At first, we all thought it was about damn time. I don't know if you've noticed, but Monarch ain't exactly easy on the yeah, spirit. Yeah, I haven't noticed at all. Then it got uglier than a rat eating a sour grape. From what I've seen in the corporation, uh, I guess it wasn't a clean exit. In fairness, there wasn't a right answer. It wasn't a protocol for get the hell off this planet. Or if there was, nobody followed it. Everything that could have gone wrong did. Townships were promised evac shuttles that never came. Overland routes were attacked by marauders and wildlife. Supplies went missing. Our equipment started corroding on account of the sulfur in the air. Terra 2 isn't mess. doing much better. They don't go to sleep at night with a morbid understanding that a rapt might eat them while they sleep. Maybe their bosses don't have the right priorities. Maybe someone out there is a bit too focused on the bottom line, but at least they have food delivered to them. Hmm. Oh, there's a clock right there. Oh God. Um. Not good enough. How can she be thriving? But the red tape helps him back. Don't be naive, Captain. We'd still be on Earth if the corporations hadn't ponied up to the bits to get us out here. Progress requires structure. 
Nobody's gonna build a sewer pipe or a road if they don't got a boss telling them to. The bureaucracy's necessary. Yeah, eventually someone will take it upon themselves to provide for the community. Sure. Then the next time they want to build a road, they'll charge tolls to recoup the costs. Then they'll hire someone to help them build another. Before you know it, they've got themselves a staff. Pay checks, seminars on the best road building standards and practices. It always happens eventually, Captain. May as well embrace it. Anders can be a creep, but he'll fit in fine. Don't worry. What's up? I ask you something? Sure. Never mind. All right. All right. I made friends with a canid once. They ain't as savage as the raps. They're more careful. Some of them will sniff your feet before they attack. Well, one morning, I opened the flap to my tent to find a canid sniffing around the remains of my fire pit. Suppose it must have smelled the wrapped I boiled for dinner the night before. Thing is, I had dragged that wrapped off and burned it before I turned in. Can't have anything catching a whiff of fresh meat and coming to interrupt <laughs> Dennis my Dennis has friends to smell. What a shock. Not like this. I'm careful, Cap. I don't leave tracks. I'd never seen such a keen hound. As I grabbed my gun, it walked up to me, right up to my tent, and stopped. It looked me dead in the eye and it didn't growl. It just sniffed around, sat for a spell, started walking off. When it saw I wasn't following it, it waited. Wait, what, for you to follow it? Hard to the void, Cap. It looked back at me, and it was only when I walked in its direction that it continued. Once I started following, it put its nose to the ground and led me for some 20 minutes through the wilderness. Soon we came to a small rap nest, and in that nest lay two dead canids. My new friend looked at the raps, then at me, then at the raps again. Smart. Did you, you kill the one you boiled? Yes, that appeared to be the case. And here I was standing in front of what I estimated to be its dead packmates. Once I blew the shriveled brains out of those sulfur sucking wraps, my canid companion walked to the corpses of its packs, and with a soft whimper, it laid among them. I ain't seen emotion in a beast before, but that day, I believed it to be grieving. A grieving canid? Now I've heard everything. I wouldn't believe it myself, had I not personally witnessed it. I thought I ought to kill it. Put it out of its misery and secure myself a decent meal, but I couldn't bring myself to pull the trigger. Don't know why. Maybe on account of my own personal losses. Maybe I could relate. Either way, that grieving canid is still out there somewhere. Or it's been eaten. Who knows? That's actually pretty damn interesting. Really interesting. Well. That guy might as well just well call himself the Shadow Broker. Go and then just call himself the Broker. I'm just saying. Sometimes the PS4 exclusives tend to be on, um, Epic Game Store. I don't thought about something to think of, uh, something interesting to think about. You know? Oh, I'm gonna be so overwhelmed and covered, it's not even funny. Oh no. All's quiet again. Thanks for the easy payday. Stranger. Only good marauder is a dead or dying. Yeah. That I did. Some crew members are causing a disturbance. I definitely won that round. You always seem to, huh? That's because I'm usually right. Next time, I work the scorecard. Hey, Cap. You getting along with the crew? I'm still not quite sure what to make of that Max fellow. Sometimes he reminds me of Anders. 
and the way he stares at things as if he's going to dismantle them. Shit. Look at me dredging up bygone days. Forget I said anything. On that push, you talk when you're ready. I will. Something on your mind? I'm a sur- Not much else to know, Captain. I like- No complaints here. 